skin is indeed considered a sense organ, and it is the largest and most extensive sense organ in the human body. It is a complex organ with multiple layers and structures that work together to perform its various functions. It is composed of three primary layers, the epidermis, dermis, and subcutaneous tissue also known as hypodermis. Here's an overview of the structure of the skin. The epidermis is the outermost layer of the skin. It is primarily composed of stratified squamous epithelial cells. The epidermis does not contain blood vessels, and its cells are nourished by diffusion from blood vessels in the dermis. This layer is responsible for protecting the body against environmental factors, pathogens, and UV radiation. The epidermis contains various types of cells, including keratinocytes, which produce keratin, a protein that gives skin its strength and waterproofing, melanocytes, which produce melanin, determining skin color and providing protection against UV radiation, Langerhans cells that are immune cells, and Merkel cells associated with touch sensation. The dermis lies beneath the epidermis and is thicker than the epidermis. It is composed of connective tissue, including collagen and elastic fibers, which provide strength and elasticity to the skin and help in wound healing. The dermis contains blood vessels that supply nutrients to the skin, hair follicles, and sweat glands. It houses sensory receptors, for touch, heat and pain perception. The subcutaneous tissue is located beneath the dermis. It consists of fat cells and connective tissue. This layer serves as insulation, helping to regulate body temperature and conserve heat. The subcutaneous tissue also acts as a shock absorber, providing cushioning and protection for underlying structures like muscles and bones. Skin plays a crucial role in our ability to perceive and interact with the external environment. It is responsible for various sensory functions, for example, the skin acts as a physical barrier to protect the body from harmful pathogens, chemicals, and mechanical injuries. It also contains specialized immune cells that can respond to infections and injuries. When exposed to sunlight, the skin's epidermal cells produce vitamin D. This vitamin is essential for calcium absorption and bone health. Hair and nails, which originate in the skin, have their own functions. Hair can help insulate the body and protect sensitive areas. Sweat glands in the skin help remove waste products from the body, such as excess salts and metabolic waste. This function contributes to maintaining electrolyte balance. The skin is covered with numerous receptors, such as mechanoreceptors, thermoreceptors, and nociceptors, which enable us to sense touch, pressure, temperature, and pain. These receptors are distributed throughout the skin's layers and provide feedback about the external stimuli we encounter. In summary, the skin's internal structure and functions extend beyond its role as a sensory organ. It serves as a dynamic interface between the body and the external environment, providing protection, regulating temperature, and performing various physiological processes that are essential for overall health and well-being. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and also press the bell icon for more videos about science and biology.